welcome back to my channel and welcome if you're new here. Happy Friday. I know what you're probably thinking again. Why is she not in her car? Well, it is the Friday before our yard sale. So I am quickly filming this at home. I'm going to just let it slowly upload while I go outside and price and price my life away because we have a lot of things to sell at our yard sale this weekend. We have all of my mother-in-law's things as well as some of our own personal things that we're selling. So it's going to be an extremely busy day. And then I have Jazzercise at noon. So I wanted to get this done. Thought it would be best to just go ahead and film it here at home. So that's the environment that we're in today. But I wanna to talk to you guys a little bit about my week. I wanna share what we talked about at the workshop and my weigh-in. But first, if you are new, make sure that you are subscribed and that your bell is turned on so you're notified when new videos are uploaded. Make sure you thumbs up this one if you do enjoy my Friday weigh-in videos. And without further ado, let's get into this week's weigh-in. So this week was extremely crazy, like beyond crazy. I am working with a couple of different buyers right now. So I've been showing houses. I taught a first time home buyers class. I went to Jazzercise four times, which I'm really, really happy about. And then of course, just getting things ready for the yard sale, sorting them, organizing them. And then I made all the signs. It's just been a crazy week. I have actually had to eat out a couple of times just due to time crunches and just not having time to make dinner. Maybe I was at like a later jazzercise class. It's just been crazy. And it's been an extremely out of the ordinary life happens week. And I think this is exactly what I told you guys last week. Life happened again this week, but I felt good about this week. Like I mentioned, I got in my exercise. I feel really good about my food. I hit my protein goal every single day, even on the days that I had to eat out due to my schedule. And I still managed to stay within my points and calories. So I'm taking this last week as a huge, huge success because I have to say it's one of the busiest weeks I have had in a very, very long time. And I still managed to stay on plan. So I'm super proud of myself for that. So today's workshop, was a great workshop. It was all about micro habits. So basically it's kind of a spin on a habit loop and we've talked habit loops several, several times. This is, I believe the last in the mini series that WW did these last few weeks of summer. What happens in your body when? Well, today's topic is what happens in your body when you create a micro habit. So first let's talk about what is a micro habit. So a micro habit in a nutshell is taking a habit we would like to form and breaking it down into tiny, tiny steps. So it's not so daunting and overwhelming. So the micro habit are the tiny little steps that you have to take to form a complete habit. So my micro habit or the first thing that comes to mind for me is protein. That is one of the things that we discussed in this series at the WW workshops. But for me, taking my protein goal and breaking it down into tiny steps, basically meals. What am I gonna have for breakfast, lunch, dinner, and snacks that are going to help me reach my protein goal? And that is essentially my overall big habit. So what are the tiny steps AKA the meals that I have to build to get to the end result of my protein goal. So the first step is having a cue. So there has to be something in your day to day, in your environment that cues you to work on your tiny steps, your micro habits, and your overall habits. So for me, that's meals. So when I am preparing my breakfast, my lunch, my dinner, and my snacks, I have my protein goal at the forefront of my mind. So that is my cue. The preparation of my meals is my cue to pay attention to my protein. Number two is the behavior. So the behavior for me is actually eating my meal. That's my behavior. So once I prepare my meal, it cues me to add protein to that meal. The behavior is actually eating that meal. So I am getting to enjoy it. I'm feeling full and satiated and satisfied. And that's the behavior portion of the habit loop. And last Lastly is the reward. So for me, the reward is hitting my protein goal, seeing success on the scale, not being starving between meals, not overindulging because I didn't eat enough protein during the day. So I hope that that makes sense to you. It's taking your overall goal, your protein goal, and breaking it down into the cue, the behavior, and the reward. And then that way you will 
eventually reach the overall end goal. You're just breaking it down into tiny, small, yet doable steps. I think this is an excellent way to end the six week series at WW. Habit loops and habits in general are really, really important. There is conflicting information on the time that it takes to develop a habit. Sometimes people say 20 or 21 days. There are studies that show 30 days. But if you do the behavior, if you're cued, you do the behavior and you reap the reward, for 20 to 30 days, you're going to develop a new habit. And that habit is going to help you in your healthy weight loss journey, your maintenance journey, just your overall health journey. These types of habits could be anything from movement to food related to behavioral related. Maybe you need to take more time for yourself. Maybe you need to have a little bit of self care. So set up a micro habit and a habit loop to get you to your end result. So like I mentioned, this was literally the busiest, craziest week that I have had in the longest time. This would have been an ideal week for me to fall off the wagon, for me to just overindulge, to eat all the things because not only am I really busy, so there's not a lot of time to prep and make meals, it's easier just to grab and go, it's easy just to snack, it's easy to throw weight loss, or healthy eating out the window because I'm so busy with other things. But I made a conscious effort at the beginning of the week to not do that. I have lost the last two weeks or the first two weeks in the month of August, but it just hasn't been as much as I was hoping. So I really want to stick with things this week so that I could see maybe a little bit bigger loss on the scale to kind of get me in the good momentum to finish out August strong. So when I stepped on the scale this morning, I am down, you guys, one point six pounds that is the most that I have lost so far in the month of August so coupled with my last two weight losses I am well on my way to trying to get close to the five pounds lost in the month of August so I'm happy I'm extremely proud of myself I feel like I've developed better habits I've developed better habits since I started watching my calories since I focused on my protein just my eating habits are better my scheduling of when I'm eating and how much I'm eating is better I just feel like I am well on my way to a successful healthy weight loss journey a weight loss journey that might take a little bit longer than I would have ideally liked but a weight loss journey nonetheless that is going to be sustainable and I'm going to be able to keep the weight off because I've developed such great habits. So I am thrilled beyond measure that I was able to lose more than I have the last two weeks in literally the craziest, busiest week from the last several months. So I want to hear from you guys. First of all, what is the habit that's your ultimate goal and what are your micro habits that you're going to put into place so that you can reach that habit leave that down in the comments it's nice to be able to read that from you guys and be here to support you and answer questions and that way we're all just kind of supporting each other and reaching our habits and our long-term goals also if you enjoyed today's video please give it a thumbs up it really, really helps out my channel and means a lot to me. And also make sure that you're subscribed so that you can be part of this amazing YouTube community. Turn your little bell on so you're notified when new videos are uploaded. You don't wanna miss a single one. And before I go, I just wanted to let you guys know that I mentioned this in my grocery haul that's going up tomorrow, but I will not have a meal prep on Monday because of the yard sale. But I'm doing a fun challenge You'll see it tomorrow in my grocery haul to kind of use up what I have around the house. And since I'm not meal planning, I'm going to have to kind of make my meals on the fly every single day. So it's going to be quite interesting and exciting. So definitely stay tuned for tomorrow's grocery haul. I will be putting up another fun video on Monday. So there will still be a video going up. It just won't be a meal prep. Make sure that you're checking out that description box down below for the links and discount codes to my favorite things. The Built Bars are back and they are better than ever. So that link is down there as well as my website for all my recipes and the link to head over and join me on Facebook. I'd love to have you be part of my community over there. Thank you guys so much for hanging out with me. Leave those habit ideas down in the comments as well as how you feel about your week and your weight loss this week. And of course, I'll see you all in tomorrow's grocery haul. Bye friends. Funny how the story goes, little hope but bigger dreams. Oh uh -huh.